So after two years in development, Dark Dissolution Chapter 2 has finally been released. We streamed the first chapter on the channel way back in August, which for some reason seems like a very long time. About a few days ago, the long awaited Chapter 2 has arrived and it only contains one new level. Well, two if you count the intro sequence of the game. I played it off YouTube and it was actually pretty good. It was like more polished and high quality than the demo version I previously played. And for those who don't know what Dark Dissolution is, it's a game made by Thingmajig and Lysander. It's a Dark Deception fan project, so nothing here is a official. However, I personally think it is better than the regular Dark Deception game. I'm not saying Dark Deception itself is trash or anything, that's not the impression I'm going for. But Dark Deception is something else. It does something that Dark Deception doesn't. So, what did Dark Dissolution do different than Dark Deception? Well, Dark Dissolution did introduce a new power-up called Blockade. What it does is it puts up a wall preventing enemies from chasing you through the maze. It's pretty useful in tight areas where you're getting chased, and it'll also reroute the enemy if there was a space for the enemy to reroute to. While we're sort of talking about power-ups, let me just say that the game encourages the player to use speed, and there's actually a use for it now. Since the monsters can actually get up by you now, compared to the monsters in Dark Deception, well, most of them, since Lucky Trigger Chitty can outrun regular sprinting. The speed boost actually feels different in Dark Dissolution. Well, that's because it has a shorter duration and longer cooldown. I understand why this was changed, because I guess it would make the game much more replayable state rather than speedrunning the game in under 2 minutes. So right now, the game only has 2 powers, but there's more. The game contains an actual intro instead of Beers telling you the lore how you got here. Now, I don't know the full lore and story of Dark Dissolution, since I didn't collect any secrets that would contain any info of the story of my first playthrough of Dark Dissolution, but the game at least explains how the the story starts and who we possibly are in this game, even though we don't know the protagonist's name. Before any of you freak out, there is no telekinesis in this game, which is good because I rather not have a shard magnet ruining my fun for the game. I would rather play the game rather than having a mechanic play it for me. During the intro, the game spoils the themes of the different levels that we are collecting sculptures and place them on these podiums. After that, Beers takes you to the ballroom and Dark Deception happens. Oh wait, I said Dark Deception? No, I meant Dark Dissolution, M my bad. Dark Dissolution is in the finished product. The game only consists of two levels, but there are about only four known levels throughout the entire game. We already know the setting of all four levels according from the intro sequence in that chapter 3 ending screen. The clockwork guy is already my favorite character, I hope did not screw him up. There are so many minor differences, like Beerus and Malik's voice change because they can't get the actual voice actors, I mean, why would you? And also, the protagonist is a completely different person and have no idea who his or her name is since I didn't collect any secrets or just didn't get revealed yet. Though the intro secrets already gave me an opinion on this person or protagonist, which I am not going to share. Dark Dissolution is already a great glow up from what it was previously way back in 2021. I do love the original characters that are designed rather than reusing monsters from the base Dark Deception game. I do love how they kept the style similar to Dark Deception, which that's what we're going to talk about next, is the game's only two levels. <laughs> Cultist Carnage is the first level of the game, the first level that contains shards that is. The level takes place in an ancient temple underground. You know, I have no idea where we are in this level. The father, who is Dark Dissolution's biggest chad, who wants to sacrifice us for the ritual, for we will never know what the ritual is. The gameplay is pretty much similar to what Elementary Evil has, but it's more challenging than Elementary Evil, and it's just better because you at least have other enemies chasing you rather than big chad fodder doing all the work. And there's also not an annoying child running around in the halls. There is a crazy boss fight, which I don't remember if it wasn't even in the demo or not, but I love how the way they executed this boss fight. It makes big chad fodder more of a threat than it actually is trying to execute us rather than repeating voice lines while we run away. And yes, he still repeats those voice lines. Vengeful Vegetation is the only level of Chapter 2 and it has plants that want to eat you, rather you eat them. The level has two zones, which I personally prefer Zone 2 over Zone 1, but I know most people prefer the other way around. The enemies are called Screechers, which fit according to their appearance, but there are different type of Murrs plants in this level, which makes this level more dangerous than Cultist Carnage. 
The boss fight is really cool. It's more of a run to the top type fight. I love how the boss changes form when it becomes harder and also when the boss fight's like almost over. It really gets the player engaged with the boss fight and wanting to go even more into it without even giving up. The escape sequence I thought was a bit weaker than Colton's Carnage's escape sequence. But I guess if you have to make everything else amazing, you gotta save the worst part at the end. I mean, the enemies are much more aggressive in vengeful vegetation than Big Chad's father and his followers. Now, I do have to mention the peak advertisement, which is Balak's original plant food, which is absolutely the best thing you could think of when switching between zones. It is such a great spoof that the devs decided to do. I'm so glad they thought of doing it because it was absolutely hilarious. Dark Disillusion is such a great fan game, and I highly recommend that you give this game a chance. It was definitely worth the wait, and I can't wait to see what the devs cook up next for Dark Disillusion. And that's about it, and I'll see you next time.